Hi there, this is Catherine from Make Way for Tech, and today I will be showing you how to share an assignment with your students without using Google Classroom. So the first thing you'll want to do is go into your drive and go to the presentation or doc that you want to share. You'll click the blue share button in the upper right hand corner. Then you have to decide if you want your students just to view information and not change or edit anything, you will keep it at can view. However, my students are going to be solving multiplication problems and um, doing a mystery picture, so I'm going to change mine to can edit. Then I'll click done down here. Now, if you want all of your students to be interacting in the same presentation, you can simply copy and paste this entire URL up here. However, I want each of my students to get their own copy. So I'm going to highlight this word edit and everything to the right. And I'm going to replace it with the word copy. This will force my students to make a copy of this activity so that they each have their own. So now I have this link copied and now I need to share it with my students. So the first thing you could do is you could go to a URL shortener. I'm going to tinyurl.com and I can copy and paste this right in here. Make tiny URL. So now over here, this is my new URL to send to students. Now I could even put this up on my whiteboard if I didn't have any other way to send it out. I'm going to copy it and show you a few other ways you can um, send it. So one way is using Padlet. If you have Padlet for your students, you can create a page where you just simply send out links to your students. So I would make an account in Padlet and then I could copy and paste this link for my students to access. My students could have this URL for Padlet bookmarked on their computers and then anytime you want to send out a link you could just add it to your page. That's one way. Another neat option is Google Tone. So this you can find in the web store and what it is is it's um, an extension where your computer actually sends out this URL in a sound to the rest of the computers in your classroom. And so that is kind of a neat option to look into. People have also used all my faves to send out links. You just create a class page that you can have your students bookmark and then you can just continue to add links here so they always have all their links in one place. Um, the other thing I would suggest is getting a Google Classroom account and sending all your links um, out through Google Classroom. But the same thing could be if you have Schoolology or a, another learning management system. So I want to show you what happens now when the students get that link and put it in. So I've just pasted it now. And you can see here that students are now forced to make a copy. So no one's going to be changing my original. No one's going to be in the same presentation. They all will make a copy of the assignment and get their own copy. Thanks for watching. Visit makewayfortech.com or my teachers pay teachers store Make Way for Tech for more fun and engaging ways to integrate technology into your classroom.